Bail has been set at $100,000 for Gabe Watson, who is seen here taking his seat in an Alabama courtroom. He's been dubbed the honeymoon killer because seven years ago, his new bride, Tina Watson, drowned while the couple was scuba diving in Australia. It happened only 11 days after they were married. Australian authorities accused him of turning off her air supply and then letting her drown. But a plea deal led to him serving an 18-month sentence for manslaughter. Since then, he has been deported to the U.S. Now authorities in his home state have charged him with murder, saying he wanted to collect insurance money on his new bride's life and plotted the crime in Alabama. Watson's attorneys, however, aren't impressed with the case. As you are all aware and we're in the courtroom, there are some serious flaws with the state's case that we are going to, uh, we're going to take advantage of. Prosecutors wanted bail set at $2 million, but the judge said no. However, he did place some restrictions on Watson. Can't leave the house before 6 a.m., has to be in by 7, wear a bracelet, give up uh, his passport, uh, stay away from the family, stay away from the uh, gravesite. There's plenty of interest in the unusual case. In fact, Tuesday, the courtroom was packed. Tina Watson's family doesn't think the 33-year-old has been punished enough. But the defendant has his supporters because at the end of the proceeding, many people clapped. The defendant's current wife, Kim Watson, was in the audience. She was applauding, too. Sandy Kozell, The Associated Press.